John Cena sees Valentine's Day as a reminder to love what you love. The 42-year-old actor and former WWE superstar, who revealed he is very happy with his relationship, is currently dating Shay Shriyatsadeh, and the couple will be celebrating the romantic holiday together for the first time on February 14. The new couple packed on the PDA with at the Doolittle premiere at the Regency Village Theatre on Saturday, just days after his ex, Nikki Bella, announced her engagement to Dancing with the Stars partner Artem Shigvinsv. Speaking to Extra, he said, it's just a reminder to care about who you care about. The takeaway from Valentine's Day is to remind you to love what you love. The Doolittle star was previously engaged to Nikki Bella whose partner Artem Shigvintsev proposed on November, until their split last year. He recently admitted that he doesn't want his new romance to be compared to his previous one. He explained, Well you know every experience in life is a chance for us to know who we are and who we're not and just because I went down one avenue in life doesn't mean I'm going to repeat going down that avenue. I think if there is a learning experience for me and a takeaway for me, it's okay to be who you are and it's okay to establish boundaries. If you've done something before and it doesn't really mesh with who you are, it's okay to change. It's okay to develop and grow and that's the journey of life. Meanwhile, John, who had his romance with Nikki played out on reality shows Total Divas and Total Bellas, recently said the key to a successful relationship is appreciating one another. He explained, if I have a connection with someone, I believe we're defined by our actions, and how you treat them is a reflection on how you will treat them in the future. I think when anyone was a connection with someone, and someone says like, hey, there's something here, and by the way, I appreciate who you are, I appreciate who you want to be, I appreciate how you live your life. I don't think that's gender specific. I think that's something we all want to hear. 